Surprise Comics. In this video, we have five books under $20 that I think are worth specking on and a couple of speculation strategies to consider. But before we hop into it, I want to let you know that I have some potential grail trades that will be coming up soon. So oftentimes what I do uh, when I get a grail in, instead of uh, just selling it outright, I'll offer it for trade for a little bit more than the fair market value because of all the extra work that goes into a trade. And usually a lot of people like to jump on that opportunity. You can thin out your collection and upgrade it to that one really important key issue grail. So if that's something that interests you, uh, consider having a list of your comics that you're uh, willing and ready to trade, ready to go. Um, so when I do post it on Instagram or on the website or through uh, the website email, um, you have your list ready to go and you can just send it to me um, because typically there are you know several offers and I just want to give everyone a fair chance and a heads up uh, that some potential uh, big books are, are coming my way. So stay tuned for that and also there's a link down in the description for $15 towards your first purchase if you use that link uh, to follow me over on whatnot and set up a new account you get $15 credit towards your first purchase we're having a ton of fun over there uh, Fridays I usually do my slab sales starting at a dollar so I hope to see you over on whatnot and with that said let's jump into the computer and take a look at this list first up we have spider-man number 12 and this is just an incredibly awesome Sarah Pakeli cover she absolutely nails the cover art on this one spider-man number 12 uh, kiss between miles morales and gwen stacy and here we can see on ebay that you can find a copy for around 20 dollars. this is a book that has been um, super hot uh, already but i think it has even more future potential if we see this played out in a live action film and i think that that is actually quite likely so i think that there's still room for this book to grow and at around 20 dollars, i think that's a good buy-in here you can see there's a couple copies um, that are at auction. This one's starting at $5. This 9.8 uh, copy is at $35. Uh, here's another copy at auction for $4.25. So um, some good deals to be had, especially if you wait and are patient with the auctions. There's a couple of variants for this issue. The Isano variant, 1 in 25 here, is an absolute monster. I mean, this book is almost entirely black. I mean, you can even see spine ticks right here uh, in this issue because it's just so difficult to find a copy of this without spine ticks epic color bleed cover just a monster but incredibly expensive this one in 25 not a big fan of the cover in fact i think this is a situation where the cover a might even be worth more uh, than the one in 25 and this one uh, doesn't have them kissing so there's really no spec at all behind this cover so i would stick with uh cover a for this one for spider-man number 12. next we have strange academy number 14 and this is the first appearance of gas lamp and this book represents a speculation strategy here uh, which is epic covers with really cool cover art and company that with minor spec potential so even if the minor spec doesn't play out because this is definitely just a super minor spec you know if a strange academy show comes and if this character shows up you know could see a spike in value but you couple that with cool cover art um, and you have uh, a worthy spec in my opinion and i have not seen a better depiction of emily bright than right here on this cover i mean look at this depiction depiction of Emily Bright, uh, just truly stunning artwork by Humberto Ramos. And that front alone, I think, makes this book uh, collectible um, and worth specking on. So here you can see raw copy selling for under $20 and even a 9.8 for under a hundred dollars next we have wind number one a series from james tinian who has been teasing meetings about this property uh, for over a year now implying a tv or movie deal uh, i feel like we could be right around the corner from an actual announcement about wind getting optioned this book is actually trending this week because of the release of wind the throne in the sky number one but you can still find cover a copies um, here you can find raw copies for around $15 and even graded copies for around $40 or $50. And I think that this price could easily double um, with the actual confirmation of an announcement. I think a graded 9.8 could go for 100 and a raw copy could go for 30 And then the
the caveat to that is that there will probably be a long period of time between the announcement of uh, it being option to it actually coming to fruition. So the prices will very likely come back down to these numbers, back down to 40 or 50 for a graded copy, back down to 15 for a raw copy, which would be another buy-in opportunity because if the show is actually made, um, the prices will spike again. It's something I call trading the curve. I talk about it a lot on this channel. And, you know, there's more than one buy and sell opportunity for series and comic books. Um, a lot of times they have many different lives. lives. So smash that subscribe button if uh, content like that is something that interests you and funding this hobby is something that interests you. That's what we talk about all the time here. And it will enter you to win two CGC 9.8 graded copies of books uh, this month here on the YouTube channel. We always do a giveaway and there's a giveaway over at BryceComics.com if you sign up for the newsletter over there. You're also entered to win a free slab every single month. We're right around the corner from drawing for that. So next up, we have Spider-Gwen 2, number 19. And this is the first appearance of the symbiote that later bonds with Gwen to become Gwenum. And it's also the first appearance of Dr. Elsa Brock, the Eddie Brock of Gwen Stacy's reality. And this is another example of a speculation strategy, which is just minor spec uh, accompanied with epic cover art on a really popular character like spider gwen even if the spec doesn't come to fruition just the cover art alone makes this comic book collectible i mean look at this cover for spider gwen super super cool cover um, and i think that makes this book worth specking on for the 15 dollars range for that reason alone here you can find a copy for 17 buy it now and i think you can probably find even better deals um, if you're patient and wait for auctions last up we have spider-man number 18 and this this is an example of um, another speculation strategy, which is just a super cool epic cover on an incredibly popular character with a low print run. So cover art alone for this comic is going to create a huge amount of demand. But if there is a plethora of copies available, if there's hundreds of thousands of copies ordered by retailers, the price isn't going to go up because of supply and demand. So when you accompany this epic collectible cover with a low print run, and in comics, 33,000 is relatively low. It's not incredibly low, but it's relatively low, especially for a character like Miles Morales. Then you have a book that's collectible and uh, potential uh, to go up in value. And I think that this is a worthy strategy for characters like Miles Morales and Spider-Gwen, incredibly popular as their popularity continues to grow. Um, when we see them on, uh, on the silver screen in live action films and beyond and in series for years to come, the collectible nature of their cool covers is always going to be a thing. And people aren't going to be able to see this cover and not go, whoa, and consider buying it. So um, I think with all of the sharky waters around the major key issues for Miles Morales and Gwen Stacy, this could be a worthy spec uh, strategy is to just go for cool low print run covers or cool even better is cool low print run covers with minor spec behind it. Um, and those are some worthy strategies. So there you have it guys. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram for trades for grails and the link down in the description for $15 towards your first purchase on whatnot. If you use my link to start a new account, I hope to connect with you over there. It's a lot easier to go back and forth and chat and stuff uh, than YouTube comments. Uh, it's kind of a, a social way to shop for comics. I'm really enjoying it. It's a lot of fun to connect with people on a weekly basis and I hope to connect with you. Uh, so thank you for sticking with me to the end of this video and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Brise Comics.